Hi everyone, welcome. This is Allison and we're going to talk today quickly about a vid video editing workflow you can use when getting um, footage off of your devices and backing up onto Google Drive and editing in Windows Movie Maker. So this is just kind of a recommended workflow to use when editing video projects. So we'll assume that you filmed all your footage using a phone, iPad, digital camera, or something similar. Uh, so now what do you do? So let's see. Let's assume that you've got uh, your footage here. Before you start, or what this project is going to require, is a designated folder in Google Drive to hold video footage for your project, and also a designated folder on your computer or laptop to hold a local copy of video footage for your project. And we're going to assume that you have uh, Windows Movie Maker installed on your computer and ready to use for editing. So here's the general idea. For each video you produce, you want to maintain a set of folders, one on Google Drive, in one on your computer's local C drive. And you'll have copies of your files in both places, but will perform slightly different activities in each folder. As a rule, remember that your Google Drive folder is for backup and sharing, sharing things like drafts as you go along. And your local C drive is for editing in Windows Movie Maker. And Windows Movie Maker is just going to talk back and forth with your local drive for editing. When editing video on your local computer, it's really important that all of the assets for your video, so footage and audio, still images, be stored in the same folder on your computer. Otherwise, you might run into problems when editing in Movie Maker, um, because Windows Movie Maker has trouble finding files when they're not all located in the same folder on your hard drive. Um, so at this point, go ahead and back up all of your footage into Google Drive from your camera or phone, if you have a, or, or tablet. You can use the Google Drive app, if it works, to upload directly into your Google Drive into the folder that you want to store your footage in. So sometimes that's handy. You can just use an app on your device and get all your footage up that way. If that's cumbersome, you can also pull off your footage like you would for a camera onto your um, laptop here and upload to Google Drive through your laptop. So either way you decide to get your footage onto Google Drive, put that up there into this folder and use that as a backup and know that your footage is safe there. You have unlimited storage on your Google Drive if you're using um, University of Minnesota Google Apps, which um, most members of the University of Minnesota community have access to. Um, so don't worry about storage constraints there. And then also grab, you can grab footage back onto your local drive here on your C drive. You can download it from Google Drive if you want and put it into a folder for editing. All right, so again, we want kind of parity between your two sets of footage on both sides. Okay, so let's go ahead and move away from this overview and see what this actually looks like in practice. So you'll notice, like I said, we're going to make a folder in Google Drive, and I just have a sample project here, and I've uploaded all of my footage. So I've even got some audio footage, images and things that I use in my project, and that's all backed up onto Google Drive in a separate folder here to keep it organized. All right, then you're going to create a folder on your local computer, and this is now on my local computer. And this is the same stuff that I'm using in Google Drive and backing up to Google Drive on my local computer. And this is what I use for editing. So these are all of my um, video clips and things and still images and audio on my local computer as well. I will also store my project file when I'm editing into the same folder because that's where Windows Movie Maker is going to know where to find them. So my Movie Maker project file I'm going to save into the same folder on my local computer. Um, so I have already started creating a sample project, so I'm just going to actually open that up. If you're doing this new, you're going to have to open Movie Maker and start a new project, but let's open up my sample project here. And I'll show you how we edit on our local computer. All right, so this is Windows Movie Maker. This is what we can use to edit and point to all the local files um, and use those to edit around. Um, you'll notice since I've already started this file, every now and then when you are editing on your local computer, sometimes Movie Maker, this is what I was talking about, Movie Maker loses its path to the files. So if this ever happens to you when you're editing locally, don't panic. You'll notice that this is showing me these little caution symbols. We can re-find this footage and Movie Maker will know what to do with it. It just for some reason lost the association. This might happen if you're not storing all your footage in the same place if you're storing it in different folders around, around your desktop and things. Um, so try to avoid that, but if it happens, don't panic. So all I have to do is hover over this file, and look, it says double click to fix, and it's pointing to a file path. You can see this file path here, um, main video. That's the name of the file that it wants, mainvideo.mp4. So I'm going to double click to fix, and it's saying, hey, show me where this file is. And under here, 
and main video. And I'm going to open that and it will reassociate that file. And it finds it again. And it's actually finding all the other video files in, in that same folder um, because they're actually all stored in the same folder. So just know that's, a, that's one thing you can do if you lose your associations for some reason. But yeah, you can normally edit your video in your, on your local computer, no problem. For video editing tips, I'll recommend um, lynda.com, and you can search for Windows Movie Maker, and they have some essential training videos there if you need more detailed tutorials about how to edit. Um, we're not going to worry about that now, but just know that this is what you, what you can use to edit. Okay, so now we're at the point where, let's say you're finished with your video, you're, or you're not quite finished, but you're working on your video. This is where you want to save your project file. So you're going to save your Windows Movie Maker project file, save project, right? And that file you want to save to the same local folder where all of your project's footage is. And you'll notice I have that set up really well here. State Fair History video, that's the name of my project file. I did save project and saved it with this name. And it's in the same folder as all of my footage. All right. And you'll notice that the project file has this WLMP. That's Windows Live Movie Project. That's the file type for a project. There's an important distinction to understand. As you go along and, and are editing your project, use this save project to kind of keep, uh, keep track of all of your edits as you go along. This is your workbench file, that WLMP file. When you save your project is a workbench file that you can save as you go along and keep making edits. When you do that, when you save your project, know that you can't give this project file to someone else to preview. The project file just has, um, is a logical, it points to different files and, and different parts of your footage, but it does not actually contain any video itself. So this project file, that WLMP that you get when you hit save project, is not going to be shareable with anyone else unless they have all of the original footage in a folder on their computer, which they very, very rarely have. So you want to use that save project as you go along to save kind of a workbench state of what your project is, but you need to do something different if you want to share or publish the movie or finish the movie yourself um, and get it up somewhere else to share. So save project is your friend as you're working, but if you want to save a draft or save a final video file, you need to use save movie. Use Save Movie sparingly. You don't need to use this every time you're working on something. There are two situations when you want to save movie. When you have a more or less complete draft and you want to share that draft with people to preview, you want to use Save Movie. So Save Movie you can use for drafts. To do that, to save a draft file, you might just want to save a quick file. You can do um, something like Save Movie for Computer. So it won't be the, the highest quality definition but you can just save it as a short, kind of condensed file to share with people to preview. So if you do save movie for computer, you can upload the file that results into Google Drive and use the Google Drive sharing settings to, to share that with people to preview. They can actually just preview it directly in Google Drive, all right? So that's how you would share a draft. When you hit this though, it will take a while and spin and spin and spin. You'll know that that means it's rendering your video to a state where you can share it off. The second um, situation where you'd use Save Movie is when you're finished with your project and you want to create a finalized video file to upload to YouTube or somewhere else to share in a final form. When you do that, when you're sharing, saving your final video, do Save Movie and make sure you do Save Movie for High Definition Display, all right? Save Movie for High Definition Display when you're finished with your project and you want to create a finalized video file. For both of these, when you save movie, you'll know you saved your draft or final video file properly because Movie Maker will spit out a file type called MP4. All right, we're not WLMP anymore. That's just the project file. The MP4 is the finalized video file that you can save and share. All right, so save movie again, just for drafts, which you can then upload to Google Drive and use the sharing settings there so people can preview. Or when you're finished with your final movie project, do save movie for high definition display and you're good to go. And that's the file that you could upload to YouTube and it will be YouTube quality and, and beautiful. All right, that's more or less all you need to know about um, video file management and uh, editing workflow. We'll go quickly back to this screen. Again, 
grab your footage off of your device, back it up to Google Drive, however you get it onto Google Drive, and store it in a separate folder there. And then also put all that footage into a local folder on your machine, and you can edit it there with Windows Movie Maker back and forth here. And then when you're ready to share a draft, you could finalize, uh, do save movie and do uh, save an MP4, upload that into Google Drive and share and use the sharing settings in Google Drive. And when you're finished with your final movie, you can do save movie for high definition display. And you would use that and you could upload that to YouTube. All right. So that's all you need to know about file management and an editing workflow. Thanks.